Hi, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about how to evaluate radicals. Okay? So evaluating radicals uh, works just like um, evaluating in frac um, exponents. Okay? Um, what you simply do is uh, if you would have multiple term, uh, I mean objects inside the radical, you will uh, distribute them to each and every one. And what do you mean by that? you will have multiple numbers, I mean a single number and multiple variables, okay? So for you to have a better understanding of what I'm talking about, um, say we have this one, um, 4x, Yan. so we have this given. Okay, if trying to evaluate this radical will again um, want you, will, want, will require you to distribute or um, get the square root of all the terms inside, uh, of all the objects inside. And specifically, the objects that will be um, inside our radicals will be just one number, and take note, one number, or n, one to two, one or more um, variables. In this case, we have one number and two variables, so let's try to evaluate them individually. So you will get the square root of 4, you will get the square root of x squared, and then you will get the square root of y squared. So getting the square root of each and every one would ha give you 2 x and y. Bakit? Kasi in this case, this, um, let's try to simplify this one. Let me undo this one. I, I mean, um, let's try to rewrite re 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 this given in, ano, in, in another form. Okay? So, this would be equal to the square root of 2 squared. Okay? Remember, there's 2 outside. So, doing that, uh, I mean, um, converting this in rational exponents will give you 2 raised to 2 over 2. Okay? And 2 over 2 would simply be 1. It, therefore, you will get just simply 2. Okay? Then we have the square root of x squared. The same concept applies. This is equals to x raised to 2 over 2, giving you again x. And the same goes for the y squared. It will give you y. So what happens here? You will take the index and you will divide it by this one. And the exponent, take the exponent and divide it by the index. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1 also. And 2 divided by 2, the answer is 1. So to simplify this, um, you will just simply take the exponent and divide it by the index. So for you to understand that better, let's, let's have something aside square root. Say we have the cube root of a number. Cube root of, um, say, 8, x raised to 6, y raised to 12. Okay. So let's uh, get the roots of this one. So the answer here would be the cube root of 8 will give will, will simply be okay sorry so this would be this the cube root of um, 2 cube right and divide the uh, exponents and the uh, index will give you 2 so this is 2 and this one 6 divided by 3 the answer is simply 2 all right simply 2 so this would be x raised to 2 and 12 divided by 3 the answer would be y raised to 4 okay so you might ask so this would be your final answer you might ask sir what if the number is not divisible then therefore the number will remain inside the radical so what do i mean by that say i have um 2 the square root of 2 x raised to 10 y yeah so you ask yourself 2 has no exponent Wala na exponent. So, therefore, it will remain inside the radical. Y cannot be taken out also. Why? Kasi it's, it cannot be divided. 1 divided by 10 cannot be. So, therefore, y will re remain inside. But this x, you can divide 10 by 2, right? And 10 divided by 2 will get you x raised to 5. But you do not write it here. No. You write it before. So, meaning, your answer for the simplification would stay on the left side. And for the remaining numbers inside the radical, it will remain on the right side. Okay? So, another example. Say we have a fraction naman. The fourth root of x raised to 8 over um, y raised to 4. Okay? So, what would happen here? 8 can go out, right? Lalabas siya. Because 8 divided by 4 is 2. And, take note. It will go out, but it will still remain its... Um, identity as a numerator. The same goes here. 4 divided by 4 is 1. It will go out, but it will retain its identity as a denominator. So, it, this would be your final answer.
Okay, or to simply put this, it would be like this also. Again, we are not selfish, we give it to everyone. So this is another way of writing your given. Okay? So it would still be the same, give you the same answer as x squared over y. Okay? And even if you will get like multiple numbers inside, say I have the fourth root of a cube, a raised, a raised to 8, b squared, and c raised to 16, this would give you division a squared b cubed c raised to 4. Okay? And lastly, um, what if you would have a given like this? The square root of a raised to 5. Of course, you cannot divide this one, right? This kasi may 2 dyan. 5 divided by 2 hindi pwede. But the thing about this one is, you will divide still, 5 divided by 2, the answer is 2, and you will have a remainder 1. The 2 will be the new exponent, the remainder 1 would remain inside. Okay, the remainder 1 will remain inside. Let's do it again. The cube root of um, b raised to 8, and b raised to 8. Okay, so let's have this one. 8 divided by 3, the answer is simply 2, remainder 2. Kasi 2 times 3 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, so remainder 2. This quotient will go outside, and as for the remainder, it will remain inside. Still, it's cube root. Ay, the remainder is 2 pala. It will remain inside. So this would be your final answer. Okay? So I do hope that you got that. Very simple lang naman when it comes to radicals. And then in the same case, boys, um, if you are having a hard time dis um, simplifying radicals, you can just simply play, um, express this one as um, rational exponents. And you can just simply evaluate any rational exponents or exponent itself using the loss of exponent, which is the one that I have al I have already discussed to you in a in a detailed way. Okay, just you can combine them. Long as you follow the rules, um, you will um never be wrong okay so that would be it if you have any other questions you can chat me on our group thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh